guess out of the gate, I'll just ask you maybe with a week to work with before you really know who you're going to play, uh, what, what maybe do you hope to accomplish this week? What will your, be your focus uh, before you turn to game prep? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity at this juncture of the season to focus on us, you know, what we need to do better and, and things that we can improve on. Uh, you know, continuously having that improvement mindset and looking for ways to get better at, at the tasks that we're asked to do and, and uh, you know, also take a peek at schematically what we're doing in some areas. And uh, so good good self-reflection and, and uh, commitment to working on ourselves. Uh, Paul? Hey, Todd, where, um, where do you feel like Ryan is coming off of these two games? How much uh, momentum maybe does he have and, and how important do you feel like that is for him personally? Yeah, you know, I think he's had a good, good couple of games. You know, I think he uh, obviously had some production in this in this past game. And, uh, you know, we realized that there were some opportunities there that were near misses as well. And so, uh, you know, we try to take it on a week by week basis on how we're going to approach each game plan. And I think Ryan went out and executed the game plan well last week. Uh, Buck. Hey, Coach, you guys have been uh, really good on third down all year long and particularly in the last three. Um, what do you kind of attribute that to and, and how much does the offensive line being able to, you know, start and finish a game um, as healthy as possible have to do with that as well? I think the line's been doing a nice job of, of working through different protection schemes and, you know, different blitz patterns that we've seen on third down. And certainly guys have done a nice job of, you know, getting open and being available for Ryan in a timely fashion. Yeah, I think our tight ends and backs have done a nice job of their protection responsibilities as well and getting some chips, uh, you know, and helping slow the pass rush and, and then Ryan's distributed. So, you know, it takes, uh, it takes a village. And I think that those guys have committed to executing our bread and butter schemes, and, you know, just doing it out of different formations and looks. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased with the, uh, you know, some of the production we've had out there down, but I still feel like we're leaving some meat on the bone. Uh, John Glenn. Hey, Todd. Um, in regards to uh, to Derek, um, just curious, you know, when, when a skilled player is coming back from, uh, you know, that long out, I wonder what the differences are in, in kind of the, the ramp up process, you know, maybe as opposed to a guy who's just been out for, for a couple of weeks or so. Yeah, I think each guy's different, you know, and it'd be a case by case basis of what guys can handle. And certainly Coach Brabel and the training staff, uh, you know, the strength staff will let me know what, what workload, uh, you know, can be expected from him each day. And, and uh, you know, I'll just take that as we go and, and see how Derek's doing. Uh, David Buffer. Todd, I'm curious, given the given the, the different players you kind of had available week to week, were you able to learn about guys maybe a little further down the depth chart to the point that maybe along the way you added some things to the playbook to take advantage of this guy's particular strengths or that guy's particular strength that maybe you didn't know they had initially? Sure. You know, I think that started well before the season, you know, we had a, a training camp full of opportunities for guys to show what they could do and, and show off their skill set. And, uh, you know, I think guys have done a nice job of taking advantage of those opportunities. I think there are guys where, you know, maybe you move them around and run different types of, of route concepts or uh, different, you know, branches of the route tree with those guys or emphasize something here or there. But uh, we truly do ask, uh, ask everybody to be able to embrace that next man up mentality. And uh, we expect you to be able to go execute most of the playbook, if not all of it. Uh, Joe Russia. Kind of following up on that, Todd, is there any particular, you know, pride, I guess, uh, this year and staff or team in the fact that you guys did, you know, have, have 91 different guys play? And is there is there an art to making that work beyond, you know, everybody be ready? Is there some, something that maybe you guys even learned along the way? I'm sure there will be a time for reflection on this season where you're able to kind of digest and take a, a broader scope view of, of some of those types of things, but, um, you know, really try to work diligently to keep a, a week by week focus and, and look at the task at hand. So uh, I'm sure there'll be a time to, to look back and, and think about those kind of numbers and things like that. But as we're in the midst of it, uh, you know, the routine is the routine. Uh, 
Uh, Steve Lamb. Hey, Todd, when Ryan was struggling a bit earlier in the season with guys coming in and out of the lineup and turning over the ball, there were some critics out there, certainly, that thought, okay, this is who he is, or he's not living up to what he's played in the past. Did you ever doubt him during that time, or what did you see from him that kind of tuned all that out, stayed steady and a leader for you, and has now played really good football over the past few weeks? Yeah, I've definitely never doubted him, uh, nor will I. And uh, I'm sure some of those same critics had some issues with me. So, you know, we try to tune out that kind of stuff and, and focus more on what we can do and what we can control. And uh, I think Ryan's been a, a great example of just staying steady in his business-like approach to things. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we believe that that'll pay off and continue to propel us where we want to go. Uh, Corey? Hey, Todd, uh, is it just coincidence that things have opened up for FERC with, with A.J. back, or, or does A.J. indeed open things up in the, in the middle of the field for other guys? I'm sure he garners a little bit uh, you know, more attention, but you know, Anthony's production has been because of Anthony's hard work. He's, uh, he's worked diligently to improve on areas of his game that we've asked him to, and you know, I think that uh, that has bred some confidence and that repeated action has bred confidence in him and, and he's playing a little faster and taking advantage of his opportunities. He went up, made two nice plays uh, on the football on Sunday for us. And, you know, obviously it was uh, Johnny on the spot when we needed him for the touchdown. So uh, proud, of, proud of Ferk. You know, I obviously know him well, working with him the past couple of years and, uh, and you know, not surprised that, that he found his way. Uh, ben, Arthur. Hey, Todd. I, I'm sure, kind of, with with Julio's kind of lack of availability, was maybe a, a struggle for him just throughout the the course of the regular season. But for him to get his first touchdown with you guys, um, just may, maybe how encouraging was his showing um, in in this past game, and and how much do you think that you you guys can maybe build on that with him getting a season. Um, high in in targets in this in the la in the regular season finale. Yeah, certainly we're excited when anybody can find pay dirt there. But uh, you know, I, I think you know we were able to connect on a couple things that that previously we weren't able to, and uh, and you know, I think that bodes well for going forward. Uh, Emily, yeah, as you uh, await an opponent, Mike Rabel said that you know, the key this week is, is really focusing on you guys and, um, you know, working on things in particular on offense. What are some things that you can get done this week? Yeah, I think, you know, just more time on tasks with, you, you know, spacing and timing in the past game, being able to work, you know, combinations and things like that up front, you know, uh, you know, being able to take some time in the meeting room to look at yourself and not just in a, uh, in a game recap mode, but take a peek at some things that we've done over the past few weeks and how we might want to quarter turn or adjust those. So it's a great opportunity for us at this spot in the season to do some uh, reflective work and, and also put it to uh, time on task on the field. 